not testify tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Conversations with Christina. I am your host, Christina, and I am so, so very excited to have you all here and see everybody joining in. This is so amazing. This is my very, very, very first show, and I am so freaking geeked to have the one and only, the queen of the B3 Oregon, none other than the living legend, Miss Twinkie Clark. Everybody welcome her! <laughs> Praise How God! Are you? Yes, Praise yes, God! Praise it's yes. Exciting to be Good. on with you. And hello, everybody! Yes, yes, yes. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Just trying to keep away from the coronavirus, but yes. uh, other than that, uh, we're moving right along as the Lord would have us. So. I'm doing well, and uh, things are really looking good, and uh, we're getting a big response uh, from the people with uh, what you all are doing and, <laughs> and what we've done over the years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, Miss Twinkie, yeah. first of all, I just wanted uh, to tell you that it was such an honor to portray you in the Lifetime movie, Bless The you. Clark Sisters, The First Ladies of Gospel. Such an amazing, amazing time. Uh, that I had on set, including with your crazy niece, Kiara. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, uh, so thank you so very much for taking the time out to speak with me today. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's just dive right into it. So last month, the Clark Sisters, the First Ladies of Gospel, uh, premiered on Lifetime, and it's now That's the enough. most watched movie on thank that network so. on Lifetime. So I have to ask, how does it feel to have your life story told in such a major way? Well, praise be to God. It's a tremendous honor uh, that people have uh, from over the years supported us, but now they're supporting us more and yeah. we're older now and um, a lot of things that we don't do anymore, but there's still requests for us to do. And I believe it's been over 35 years since we did a movie, if you can remember the movie Gospel, and yes. my mother was living then. Yeah. Uh, she was living then, so uh, to come back with this uh, movie behind Gospel, it's just a uh, difference between black and white, and this is on a much higher level. Uh, there's so much more that God has done and is doing in uh, our career and our ministry and uh, to uh, appear, uh, no, not appear, but to be a part of this movie is going to take us even to the next level. We, mm -hmm. We're getting calls, calls, calls. Sometimes I can't answer the phone, and then the internet is blowing up, and yeah. we're just so grateful uh, for how things are going, and thanks to you all and for what, is, what God is doing. Absolutely, absolutely. So were you, were you surprised at all with the response, the overwhelming response of how well the, the movie was received? Absolutely, absolutely yeah. surprised. I didn't think it would uh, go over like that because some people have been listening to us for years and have supported us. And uh, now since the internet is really, really popular, uh, right. we've always had that support, but now it's greater. So we're, we're expecting some uh, tremendous things to happen, things that haven't, haven't happened before. And uh, even with my sisters, uh, there are uh, doors that are being opened. And uh, even from the part you and I did, mm -hmm. uh, me playing the organ, I'm getting calls from musicians. They're saying, well, what made you do it? Uh, how did you get started as a musician? And what do you think about um, your part? <laughs> 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 good deal. You know what? I think that it's it's so good for yeah. your story to be told in such a way. I, I've been saying that I think that it's great for gospel artists to be able to share their story in such a way so that it can help other families to right. uh, become closer. You know, you, you, you can't really say that it, it only just happens to them. Yes. So many things happen with all of us and it is... It's, right. 
perfectly fine. God will take us to things mm -hmm. and he'll bring us out of things. And so I'm so excited that you all allowed us to tell your story on such a huge platform. It's so very um, amazing how God really has been blessing you all through the years. Um, I'm mm -hmm. one of those that mm -hmm. have been paying attention and following uh, and looking at you guys for I don't know you. how long. And so it's Man. just so good. Bless so you, good Dina. that you all get to share your your story. So there's so many questions that I wanted to ask you uh, from yeah. me studying your video, your videos mm -hmm. on YouTube with you and your mom always traveling, doing the right. uh, choirs and the rehearsals and all mm -hmm. of the different things that you all would have to do. I wanted to know, would you ever be exhausted whenever you would have to travel so much? Like, would you be tired and be like, oh, Oh my goodness, <laughs> I am ready to go to sleep, mama, now. Come on, we got to, we got to wrap it up, okay? <laughs> How did you What's feel on the road? Well, thank you. You saved me some breath for all these years. I certainly feel like that now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I use the word retirement, uh, I won't say who get mad, but one of my sisters get mad. Now, if I'm 72 and I can do it, you ought to be able to do it. And all you uh -uh. have to do is sit down. <laughs> now, I'm, I may be sitting down at the keys, but I'm still working. <laughs> That's still work. So, they don't like that word retirement, and I love it. So, as long as I can go, which is my prayer, Christina, I can go when I want to, not because I have to. That means to pay my bills. <laughs> I had to say that sauce. It means to pay my bills. <laughs> but I can go when I want to and not because I have to. And it's such a, uh, an honor to be able to be heard and to bless the people. Some people wish that they had somebody to call them and say, come to my musical. You know, come to my anniversary. We're going to pay you. So I'm, I'm very, very grateful. But I do want to space it as we get older. I'm glad you brought it up. Maybe they'll think about it. <laughs> if I could just space it. it first. <laughs> <laughs> Long as I can space it a little bit, then I'm fine. Absolutely. I get it. I totally understand. So you've written over 250 songs over the span of your career. So I would yeah. love to know, what are two of your most favorite songs that you've written so far? Well, does that mean you're going to play them for me? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you know I had to take over. Listen, playing now. Let, me, let me tell you something. If you teach me the way that I'm supposed to be taught, I'll okay. play them, huh? <laughs> okay. I, okay. I can't, I can't beat that. But uh, one is uh, Praying Spirit. And uh, the other is... Um, is my living in vain. Those are those are the two, mm -hmm. and they're the easiest two that you don't have to uh, do too much fancy playing on. Mm -hmm. But those are my two Absolutely. favorite. Praying spirit. I used to always shut myself up in the room praying and walking around with the Bible. And sometimes my sisters would tease me and say, "Where you going with that Bible?" And I would go <coughs> to my room and shut myself away and uh, try to come up with uh, some melodies. So yes, those really? two is my best in vain and um, praying spirit. Good. You know what? Everybody wants to know. You know what I'm saying? So it, yeah. it's really, really good that we finally get to hear it from you that your two favorites so far is praying spirit and living in vain. Of course, Zael, the group that I used to sing in, that was uh -huh. our breakout hit. Like wow. you guys, look, the Clark sisters put us on the map. So thank oh, you. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Y'all did good too. Oh, Y'all well, made us you. look good. <laughs> Thank you. Look, thank you so very much for writing these amazing, amazing songs. These, it, you know, it's so good that you can you can actually put on paper how you're feeling in those moments and. Yeah not even have to feel bad about them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you're, you're writing songs for people mm -hmm. to be able to sing back, you know what I'm saying? And throughout the year. So it's really, really commendable of you to really hear from God and, and, mm -hmm. and uh, lean into him and, and, and write those wonderful songs. And those are two of my favorites too. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Sure you can. <laughs> of course. Let this be now, you interview okay. me. Come on. <laughs> Out of all the songs, or maybe those two, 
Uh, which one did you uh, learn to play yourself or which, which one uh, were you able to pick up on and, uh, and uh, not write, but, <laughs> but perform it on yourself? Which, which one? Without somebody else teaching you or showing you, which one out of all of them or maybe the one or two that you were so, able to pick up on? Look, Miss Twiggy, what some people just don't know, and then I'm going to surprise you. I was so good at acting, I didn't play nothing. Oh, <laughs> get out of here. I oh. didn't. I had somebody that came, well, they had somebody that came in that was my double. So they were right. able to to uh, play everything for me. And of course, you know, y'all's wonderful brother, the Donald Lawrence, had uh, right. some musicians that came in and, and uh, they were trying to mimic you to the T. And I think that they did a oh. wonderful job. But no, my friend actually i got on facetime when yeah. I see, um before we had to go mm -hmm. to canada and i got on facetime with him and i asked him to do some chord structures with me because i didn't want to i, I studied how you would sit at the, yeah. the organ so i wanted okay. to be as comfortable as possible i didn't want to right. look crazy and Aww. i didn't want y'all's fans to come after me talking about that's oh. not what freaking with me doing so you okay. know I okay to, to mimic you to the t so i didn't play i wish i could like you can teach Aww. me though I'm oh here. no! Uh uh, I, I feel real bad. Uh -oh, I feel no, real no. bad because I'm thinking all the time. Oh, she's playing it. She's playing it. So I feel bad, but I I can go home no. with knowing you uh acted that part. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I, I can live with bad. that. <laughs> but it Just was when you get ready fun. to act, now. Don't don't miss it. <laughs> But it was Look, funny. It was I know funny. the real story. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, let's see here. So one thing that stood out for me in particular is that you would write your songs directly from scripture out of the Bible. Why was it so important for you to take that approach to songwriting? Uh, because when I had to play on Sunday morning service or at these church conventions, I always had to back the preacher up because I had to... Mm. Uh, play behind the preacher when they build up their sermon and then they start tuning up. And in between that time, I was listening to the word, uh, going over the scriptures with them. And that's how some of those songs came by word of scripture, because I would have to bag the preacher up when I was playing. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I look, I don't want to get off, but I'm going to just say this. I'm mm -hmm. glad that you said that there are so many musicians that really need to hear that, to actually mm -hmm. pay attention to what the man of God is saying or the woman of God is saying while they're preaching. Don't right. just, don't just play. You know what I'm saying? If you're yeah. wanting to write songs, start mm -hmm. listening to what your pastor is saying. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's really, really good. It's not a lot of um, people that would, would, would say that they were actually listening to the word of God and they right. got something from it. And that's a, you know, probably where the, the base of the song came mm -hmm. from. So I'm really thankful that you shared that information. That's very enlightening to, to know welcome. that. You're welcome. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, mm -hmm. you've been blessed with such an amazing career. And there are so many artists that have been following uh, your career. What tips would you share with aspiring artists and even artists that uh, are feeling like giving up just because it seems like it's just not coming together? um why qu quite like they they would like it to come together yeah um uh, well for one thing try to find a mentor or somebody that you uh not look up to but somebody that inspires you the, having a mentor always helps because when you look to that person you you want to do like them you want to be like them you want your um your um, expertise to be like theirs mm -hmm. and also it's important that you uh, participate in your home church yeah uh, if you if if you participate in your home church you'll be uh, surprised at how you get inspired mm -hmm. and the lord honors us when we put him first even if it's every now and then every now and then uh sunday in between you traveling when you come home off the road, uh, go to Sunday morning service or go to Bible study if you can't do mm. that. 
But to put home church uh, first is very important. And then I'll also, also say find some other artist that inspires you and uh, study their style. Cool deal. Good deal. So look, I'm going to wrap it up because I know you got a lot of other things that you, that you possibly have to do. But what is next for Miss Twinkie Clark? Like, do you, can we expect a, uh, some new music or maybe a book or even a new movie or something? What's next for you? <laughs> well, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, yeah. Something I've never done before. Now, Karen did it, but uh, someone asked me about singing with an orchestra. And uh, I've been talking to someone that works at a university and they're looking at the fall. So if it happens and uh, I'm successful with uh, what they're asking, um, then I will be uh, doing a, a concert with the orchestra by the fall. So that, I look forward to that. I've never done it before. Wow. I want to be invited. Can I come and see you? <laughs> I'd love to have you there. I'd love to. Absolutely. Well, listen, Miss Twinkie, this has been an absolutely amazing conversation that I've had with you. I've really enjoyed talking with you today. And again, thank you so very much for taking the time out to have a conversation with Christina. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just so excited. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> thanks, I think everybody's been looking forward to it. So thanks, um, I'm so grateful, so grateful. So Thank you so much. How can um, how can uh, our viewers get in touch with you if they need to reach out? You have like a website. My, I need my uh, niece to help me with this. Should it be mm -hmm. the Clark Sisters? Yeah, the legendary Clark Sisters. Social media. The legendary Clark Sisters. Instagram, Facebook. Instagram, Facebook, and, Facebook. and my page. Twinkie Clark. Twinkie Clark. Okay, cool deal. So you all heard it here. Make sure that you follow her on all platforms, including the legendary Clark sisters. They have been working so very diligently in the gospel industry and outside of the gospel industry, allowing uh, God to really use them uh, to help other people to, to come to Christ. And I am so thrilled that I got the opportunity to have this conversation with the one and only, the B3 organ, the queen of the B3 organ. <laughs> she act like she can play. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Listen, until next time, be okay. careful, be positive, and make sure that you're being patient because things will work out. Bye. Bye-bye. Can I testify tonight? <laughs> hey, hey, hey.